You have argued that the 1994 publication by the Yomiuri Shimbun of a draft for a new constitution was a watershed event that broke through foregoing tab taboos on discussion of constitutional revision. What were the key contextual factors that led to 1994 being able to be a turning point here? Yes, well, I wouldn't want to make too much of 1994 because some of the events leading up to the Yomiuri's draft constitution were equally, if not even perhaps more important. But I believe that the publishing by this major center-right newspaper of a draft for an alternative revised constitution really did break through a kind of taboo that had existed up to that time on public discussion mm -hmm. of revising Japan's constitution. It's hard for us to imagine that now, even though it's a very short 15-odd years ago, but up until that time, politicians really didn't dare even bring it up because the issue was considered in some sense sacrosanct. So what happened to make it a discussable issue? There are a number of things that we can name. For example, from the late 1980s, the possibility of Japan participating in UN peacekeeping operations had arisen. And by the prevailing understanding of the role of the SDF, the Self-Defense Force, or Japan's uh, military force, by the understandings prevailing at that time of Article 9, Japan would have been prohibited, say, from sending the SDF to an area that had been hit by some natural disaster outside Japan and helping in a relief effort. But by the 1980s, many uh, ordinary people thought that actually that would be a very responsible role for the Japanese Self-Defense Force to take up and that to provide assistance to a United Nations effort seeking to maintain peace and order was actually very much in the spirit of Article 9 and of Japan's pacifist stance. And so suddenly the sense of, wait a minute, there's a bit of a contradiction between our situation in 1945 and where we find ourselves now. And that sense began to grow. And I think it accounts in large part for why the discussion now is so wide ranging. But to mention another uh, a couple of extremely important events for us to understand, I think we can't pass over Japan's experience in the first Gulf War in 1991. At that time, Japan still did not regard uh, it as possible for the Self-Defense Force to go overseas and participate uh, even in a peacekeeping role or disaster relief role. Uh, and so when Japan offered, instead of that, a large monetary contribution to the first Gulf War, they were very much surprised to find their contribution rebuffed and even ridiculed. And this has uh, been a transforming event, I believe, in the thinking of Japan's diplomatic corps about the type of stance that Japan should have in the world. And of course, a wide spectrum of opinions derived from that, as you might guess, everything from saying, well, we were right in the first place, we should stick with the prevailing interpretation of our Constitution to the belief that uh, Article 9 needed to be thrown out as a whole. So a spectrum of views arose, but certainly a great deal more openness to the idea of sending the Self-Defense Force overseas arose in the wake of the first uh, Gulf War. 
And soon thereafter, the government's interpretation of limitations on the use of the self-defense force began to widen and change. This gave rise to the understanding that Article 9 might be interpreted in a number of different ways. And uh, these together, I think, gave a sense that it was now time to discuss a possible revision of the Constitution. Another significant factor in 1994 was the fact that the nation found itself on the eve of the 50th anniversary of the end of the Pacific War. And people spoke at that time of sengo shuri, or drawing a line to end the sense that Japan was any longer in a post-war environment. And of course, that was entirely appropriate to a nation that at the time was a huge economic powerhouse and by no means any longer involved in the post-war work of, uh, of adjustment after having fought a war. So I think all of these factors lie in the background of the Omiuri Shimbun's uh, decision to draft uh, its own constitution and begin a, a wider discussion.